everyone, it's Liz from Liz's Paper Loft, and tonight I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made these cute little pouches. And I made them the other day, and I had a lot of requests for how I did it. And it's really super simple. So I didn't even think, I thought they'd been out there for a while, so I really didn't think that I needed to, but um, I guess I do, and that's fine. I love making videos. I'm, I'm getting used to them now, and um, so it's it's not so scary anymore. Anyway, okay, so this is what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to use Teresa Collins Carolina Breeze paper, the 6x6 pad, and um, my Creative Time All Around Birthday Time stamps, and the My Creative Time scalloped and stitch circle, okay? So what I did is I pulled out my you know, my pat, the color I wanted, and then I just cut off the edge. So now it's a six by six square. So you can use any two sided um, paper at six by six. Okay. Now I want my yellow to be the top and the part that folds over. So what you do is whatever you want that to show the most, you're going to fold this down. And you could score it if you want, but you know what? You really don't need to. You just do this, score, you know, use your bone folder, and then you fold one side down, straight down. And you just want to make sure it's even with the other side, like that. And then you take, you fold it back up, and then take this side and fold it straight across your fold line. See? I don't know, it's kind of hard to see with the white, but you're going to fold it across there. And you use your bone folder for that. And then you go back the other way. Oops. And then you fold that down. And that's really it. Oops. So you fold this back over, you know, you use your bone folder a little bit more, and that is it. And now I'm going to decorate it really quickly. So if you have a ton of, you know, little Valentine treats you need to get out, this is like the perfect little thing. Now, I love my little mouse pad from my creative time, but I don't want to get it dirty. And also, I have, I have a hard time seeing the white on the white, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I think I'm a little off center. Yeah, well, a little bit. Let me do one more. I, If I lean over, I'm going to be in the video if I try to go right over it. So let me pull it out for just a second so I can... Sorry if my head's in the way. Much better. Okay. And then... For the center, I'm going to use a little gold crown. And I think I'm going to make it go that way. And I'm just using some yellow. I hope this turns out. Maybe I'll try it in the, the one I messed up first to see if I like the color. Yeah, I think I like that. And then, of course, I can't just leave it like that. I'm going to have to glitter it a little bit, I'm sure. Yes, I am. So, let's see. What shall I use? I don't know if you can see. I don't think you can see, but it's a mess on either side right now. I'm going to go ahead and use a pop dot on that. And I'm going to use two pop dots on this to go right there. There we go. Add little stickles. I think it'll show up on the yellow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that adds just so much more. Hey, 
And you don't have to add a lot, just enough to give it a little bling. There. So there you go. That's it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's cute. You throw a little um, peppermint patty is what I had in them, or um, a Reese's peanut butter cup might fit in there too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.